Hello, ethical hackers. Recently, I passed the Certified Red Team Expert certification from Pentester Academy. I wanted to share my thoughts with you. I'm not going to cover other reviews that you can find online, but rather focus on some information that I think are important if you want to pursue such certification. In this video, I'm going to discuss how hard the lab is, how hard the exam is, and some hidden resources that you can take profit from when you are doing your lab. And finally, I'm going to finish with an alternative way to increase the value for your money. I'm going to pick a winner from those retweets and I'm going to give him or her a free copy of the book. I wanted to record this video to show you the process, so it should be transparent, obviously. So let's get started. When you land on Pentester Academy and you go to Red Team Labs tab, you can find the three main labs that are provided as part of the certifications related to Red Teaming. The first one is related to CRTP, which stands for Certified Red Team Professional, and I've already covered that in a separate video. The lab is called Attacking and Defending Active Directory. But our main focus for this video is the Advanced Red Team Lab, which is the lab supporting the CRTE certification. As you can see, it's the same logic with the previous lab. You have your student workstation that connects through VPN to a student machine, which has access to a child domain with many resources. And from there, you have a trust with another domain in another forest and you have the forest root or the root domain if you will the parent domain for this child domain and as you can see we have a bunch of databases with maybe some links here between them and obviously we will target Kerberos we will use PowerShell to perform our attacks and the lab comes with two flavors the first one which is the default one is the let's say hard one, it prevents you from connecting back to your attacking machine here. So things like port scanning from your own machine to the different resources in the lab is not possible. And the same thing goes for reverse shells if you want to use Metasploit or a command and control like Covenant or Empire. In this flavor, you have to do everything from this machine. The second flavor is the let's say easy one, which opens some ports between this machine and your attacking machine, which allows you to perform port scanning and get in reverse shells for Metasploit or a command and control system. There is also another lab which supports the same certification and it gives you a better value for your money but stick with me until later in the video where I talk about the value that this certification provides. If you want to get an idea of what the cert does and how the exam is laid out, etc., you can type CRTE exam review on Google and there are many, many reviews. However, I'm not going to focus on those things, but rather specific things about the lab, how hard it is, how hot is the exam and and some hidden resources that you can take advantage of and then if it is worth your money. So how hard is this lab? If you compare it to CRTP, it's definitely harder. But in this version of the lab, as you can see, there is not much um, difference in size between the two. It's somewhat the same structure, two forests, uh, one child domain, one parent domain. The main difference here is that there is network segregation. So in order to hop into other resources in this child domain, you need to compromise a bastion or jump server, and you can't access the, those resources directly. You have to go through the jump server, which definitely adds some complications, but also mimics some real world use cases. There is also constraint language mode, and app locker which are configured on some resources and you need to bypass them if you want to progress in the lab. So it's definitely something that we find in real world 
uh, examples, you need to know how to bypass constraint language mode. And the lab provides a great opportunity to do that. Other than that, I don't think that there is um, a difference between the lab in CRTE and the lab in CRTP. I personally finished it in eight days. So I was pretty lucky to purchase the 30 days package rather than two months because that was largely enough for me to finish it. The thing I love about this lab is the flag verification system here contains so many flags that you need to get through post exploitation. For example, once you compromise this server, you need to perform enumeration after you exploit it in order to find some credentials, some keys, maybe some emails to progress in the lab, which is a critical skill you need to have during real world engagements. However, I found that there were some typos in the flags. It's not a big deal, but it just tells me that there is not much attention made to the flag system. Sometimes those typos can be misleading, but all in all, it's not, it's not really a big problem. So that's about how hard the lab is. Now let's talk about the exam. Now, if you go to one of the reviews that I mentioned earlier, actually the first one from LinkedIn, the author explains a bit about the exam process. It's actually 48 hours compared to 24 hours in CRTP and the exam was more challenging than CRTP examination. It says that if you've completed all of the lab machines and obtained the majority of the flags, you should be fine for the examination. I don't think so. I disagree with this. Why? Because first, the exam changes, and um, I guess this one was about the version where we had eight servers to compromise, in the current version of this exam, at least at the time of recording the video, it's just five servers spread across several forests that you need to compromise. You have to compromise at least four out of five servers, in which case your report should be very high quality. But here's the twist. If you finish the lab, I mean this lab, it won't be enough to pass the exam. Why? Well, because I noticed that attack paths are not as straightforward as they are in this lab. The exam definitely adds more twists and rabbit holes, and I found myself digging into deep rabbit holes trying to figure out how to exploit a seemingly promising path while spending a lot of hours. But the things I learned is that you need to do a lot of enumeration in the lab. I know it sounds repetitive, enumeration, you find it everywhere, but trust me, in this lab, if you want to pass the exam, you need to not only master the basics of attacking Active Directory, but you need to also do proper enumeration. For example, access lists, Bloodhound, the requirements for each attack that you've, you've learned in the lab should all be mastered in order to avoid spending a lot of time digging into rabbit holes. And remember, just keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate or overthink the attacks. Just take it simple, do your enumeration, and master the prerequisites for each attack and how to bypass protections that you learned in the lab. Let's talk about the support. This is the screenshot I took when I started the, the exam. It's on demand, so whenever you feel ready, you can just go ahead to your portal and click on the button that says start your exam. I found that the lack of a chat room was a bit annoying because every time I wanted um, a hint, a nudge, I needed to send an email to the support. Now, they are kind, they are responsive. You have a response in the following hours. But the problem is you need to explain your approach every time you send an email, which for me, it's kind of annoying. It teaches you how to ask questions, yes, but I have a better resource for you. There is a Discord server, which I'm going to link in the description box. I think it's made by students of Pentester Academy and it's pretty well done. For example, in the certifications Jumbo, you have CRTP channel, 
CRTE, and then the PACES certification. You can ask people, you can interact with them in real time. It really helps in your learning journey. So I invite you to subscribe to it if you want a more real time chat room experience. So at the end, is it worth your money? Absolutely. I think that CRTE is one of the great lab and exam challenges that I found on the internet. However, I have a better thing for you. There is a boot camp provided by Pentester Academy. So first, let's review the purchase options. So this one costs 299 US dollars for 30 days. Okay. Now, if you go to the boot camp, There is Advanced Active Directory, Attacking and Defending Active Directory, the Advanced Edition. Duration is four weeks, and you just add 100 US dollars compared to this one. And the lab in this uh, bootcamp is huge, and it teaches you more than what this lab provides. And you have four live sessions. Each session lasts for three hours. And you have four weeks access to the lab and the resources. And plus, you have one CRTE attempt included in this bootcamp. And what you can learn is much better and broader than what you learn in the other lab. So you have labs, local administrator password solution. You have just enough administration. Uh, resource-based delegation, Windows Defender application control. So you can already see that there are a lot of attack servers and techniques that are not covered by this lab. And for just 100 US dollars, you get so much value. I didn't know about it until I started the lab. Had I found about it, I would definitely opt for this version. So that's it. I think you found this video helpful and for those who are willing to take the CRTE certs, I hope that this video gave you some insights and some tricks that you can apply to maximize your learning and take full advantage of the learning materials, especially the Discord server and the bootcamp version. If you have done CRTE, I would appreciate if you drop a comment down below to explain what was your experience. I would love to hear yours. I have recently tweeted that I'm going to apply a discount on my book about bounty hunting journey if the retweets hit 1k. Obviously, it has only been retweeted 16 times. I guess I was too optimistic. <laughs> but nevertheless, I wanted to reward people who have retweeted. So I'm going to pick a winner from those retweets and I'm going to give him or her a free copy of the book. I wanted to record this video to show you the process so it should be transparent, obviously. Let's choose this tweet and the winner is Bruno0210. Let's actually verify that he indeed retweeted. Yep, he is actually here. So, Ghost10, congratulations. Reach out to me via private message and we're going to sort this out. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I publish a new video on ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. If you're new to hacking and want to learn the basics, check out the free OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on training on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports it. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises so that you don't spoil them. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts for most of the videos you watch on this YouTube channel. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Friday newsletter on thehackerish.com to gain some new hacking knowledge at the end of the week. If you enjoy listening while doing other things at the same time, check out the Hack for Fun and Profit podcast, link in the description box. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.